Speaking of budgets, with the price of oil not where it was last year, volunteer firefighters are forced to make adjustments. In our special assignment tonight, Local 2's Ryan Martin takes a look at how the oil decline is hurting fire departments that depend on donations to save lives. Volunteer fire departments receiving much needed paychecks to keep their departments running. Today, we were very privileged, Conical Phillips as title sponsor, to award $215,000 to our local responders here in the Permian Basin. Permian Operations Manager Johnny Golden and Loretta Sagers with Conico Phillips help organize the Bad Boy Blast every year, a fundraiser for local first responders. They tell me with the price of oil down, the money isn't what it was last year. Our sponsors. They were still there. They were just there in a, a little smaller sponsorship level. One of those departments feeling the burn, the Northeast Midland County Volunteer Fire Department, according to Matt McClure. There's a lot of things that we're not being able to to purchase if something breaks down. If we've had we've got an air pack that goes down, we're not able to replace it or, or get it fixed because of the funding issues. McClure tells me when funding's down, the volunteers here will use their own money to help pay for the needs of the department. It says a lot about, about our, our firemen, you know. Uh, all of our firemen are volunteers, you know. They don't get paid to work here, or they don't get paid to respond to fires. The Howard County Volunteer Fire Department also feels the effects during tough times. Our bad boy blast the last couple of years have been 100,000. This year it was 50,000, which we was expecting about a 30% cut. But actually, we got a 50% cut. Causing the department to make adjustments. We have to cut some training programs and some equipment purchases. You know, we're, we're like any other business. When the money's not there, you, you have to cut things and go back. But while departments struggle with less funding, donors find a way to keep the basin's bravest prepared. I think because they touch everybody's lives at some point, I just think it's very important that they have the equipment to protect us as well as themselves. Ryan Martin, Local 2 News.